Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Back out here at the pond. Friday, early Friday morning. Not really early, but 9 a.m. almost. Overcast conditions. It's fall, as you can see, we got leaves down. This can be either the best time of the year right now or one of the worst times. Sometimes the fish today, they just don't want to bite right now. Well, sometimes they do, so we're gonna get out and grind it out and got a few hours, I'm gonna fish around and see what I can catch. Try to produce a good video for you guys, some good content, so. But first off, let's start out with what I'm using. So I'm throwing the old monster worm here. Got it on mono, 17 pound mono. I got it on my big frog and jig rod. So I'm gonna just go ahead and call this my frog jig and big worm rod. It's my seven foot three heavy power boy ducket with my Shimano Kaya six three to one gear ratio. That's what I'm gonna fish with on the bottom. And I have a chatterbait Z-Man chatterbait here. Project Z seventeen pound mono again seven foot three medium heavy on a Acceler Daiwa and I believe this is in the uh, 6 3 to 1 gear ratio as well so guys we got a couple casts I always like to start on this side of the pond here right at this little point there's always some bait fish there so I'm gonna try out there I'm gonna fish out there with the chatterbait first and if I locate a fish there then I'll put a big worm out there and slow it down Hopefully I'll catch more than what I'm expecting, which lately has been just a couple here and there. I'm gonna step over here and cast over to this point and see if I can catch a few. See, fishing that point produced nothing. Well, I'm gonna cast out to this little stump. The last time I was here, I cast out to, to this stump and caught a decent sized little pound and a half. Or... They might want it on the bottom today, guys. All right, guys, left that spot. Um, what I'm noticing is this, with this pond is the water is really, really, really muddy. And just a couple weeks ago, it wasn't like that. So I kind of feel like maybe if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments if I'm wrong or not, but it, I feel like that this pond is turning over. It might be that time of the year when the things are changing over from summer to spring, summer to fall. That are causing the causing the pond to switch over. So hopefully it picks up in the next few weeks or so and changes. And uh this is a good bite, but that's what I've noticed. The whole pond is just really, really muddy. Like visibility might be a six inches maybe so i'm gonna try a different spot which i haven't tried which i haven't produced a video from in a while now the bite's usually pretty good there so i'm gonna hit this spot guys and i'll see you on the water all right guys i'm out here at spot number two i'm gonna fish this chatterbait Let's see if i can't whack a few out here at this pond
First fish of the day, guys. You know, try to bait. Right over there in that little pocket where he should have been. Little guy, but still a fish. There we go. Got another one, guys. Little chatterbait. It's a better one there. Nice chunky guy sitting right up on the bank. I knew it would be a fish sitting there. Let him eat it good and set that hook. Stop doing these tracks, guys. Look at that. I was just about to switch things up and go get my worm rod. And guy, he smacked it. Smacked it, smacked it, smacked it. Check him out. There's Z Man there. Absolute. Hit it hard as he could. Alright, guys, we're gonna get this little guy back in the water. Might fish this for a few more minutes, but if I don't get another bite, I'm gonna go ahead and pick that worm rod up. Well, that's three on the chatterbait. Hadn't missed one yet. That one, he hit it with, with some aggression. The other bites were more reaction bites. This one, he chased it down, I can tell. Look, there's more bait. There's, there's another fish over there. They're eating this one. A few far in between, but I've been here maybe 30, 40 minutes. Caught three fish. Sneaking over here to the other side of this little pond. The bait fish are getting busted up on here. Pretty good, so I fear. Uh, we'll be able to catch a few on this side. Throwing a little bass assassin swim bait. There we go. Not a big one, guys, but sure enough, we're feeding up on these little swim baits in this little shell pocket. There's one. Let's see if I ain't hook another one over here somewhere. Check them out, guys. Hey, babe. Check it out, guys. Caught them on that bass assassin swim bait. They up here busting these little small, small minnows. I'm putting them back here. This guy barely hooked, as you can see. Barely, barely hooked. 
That's a good two and a half, almost three pounder right there, guys. Take a couple pictures, I'm gonna let this bad boy go. All right, guys, biggest of the day, two and a half, three at the most. Skinny fish, but it's up here on shallow, shallow, shallow water feeding, so. Get a couple more casts and I'm heading out of here, guys. Nice size fish that was, guys. Two and a half, three at the most on the small, small, mineral style bass sass swim bait. This is be my last cast and I'm gonna get out of here, guys. As always, I appreciate the love and support from my channel. Trying to hit that 800 subscriber mark. I'm trying to get to a thousand before January 1st. So as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Share my videos. And check me out on Instagram at East Coast Bass Fishing and on Facebook. <clears throat> and I will catch you guys on the next episode of East Coast Bass Fishing.